Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we got another dope video for you guys. So before I get it started, uh, I just want to shout out my stream a little bit because it's been doing amazing. Um, I have it, I used to stream like every single day and when I say used to, I mean before my vacation, so roughly three weeks ago. And I went away, I got back, this whole big BS World Championship got announced. So I've been really focusing on screaming, but I've been trying to stream once every day or once every other day or once at least every three days. And a lot of you guys have been showing up for it. It's been really, really dope really really cool and i'd like to just give a little bit of a shout out to that i'm very 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 close to 5k followers which is like a huge deal it's like it's that's a milestone right there it's a huge huge milestone on twitch and it would mean the world if you guys could just just stop over drop a follow watch every now and then just say hi to me so we can interact we can do whatever um because that's what i love to do that's what i love most about this is being able to interact with you guys and it's hard when you guys like dm me on twitter or on discord or anything like that because i get so many of those but when you come into my chat or when you put a nice comment in the youtube section i'll try my best to reply and try and get some of that interaction with you guys so definitely check it out i'll put the link in the description below we're really close to the followers so if you guys can just come in drop a follow that would be amazing there's also a bunch of other bs content creators that you guys see all over YouTube on Twitch, especially from the pro side. So if you guys want to check that out, definitely go ahead. But today, what we're going to be doing is trying out the new bow star power. So in my personal opinion, I'd say there's about six or seven S tier star powers. And when I mean S tier, I mean they're amazing. They make the brawler go from a five or a six out of ten to a eight, nine, or ten out of ten. They make them really good brawlers just because of the star power. And I think that this bow star power is going to be insanely broken i think it's going to be an s i don't think it's going to be up there with curveball piper star power or band-aid but it's going to be super 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 close so i think you know that, that's just what i think you guys can tell i have a 519 bow i don't play them a lot but the star power is intriguing me so let's hop into the games let's check it out and let's see what the star power does okay so here we go into the first game and again i'm yet to try out the star power this is my first game so what the star power does is bow usually gives vision but instead of that, Bo's mines are actually going to give a two-second stun. So people, uh, bots, brawlers, the Ike will all be stunned for two whole seconds. That's that's a lot of time in Brawl Stars. Someone's standing still for two seconds. That's enough time for us to locate where they are, get a full shot off on them. Additionally, on top of that damage that's already being uh, being given from the um, from the uh, from the mine. Sorry. So it's 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 good. It sounds good. Again, we're yet to try it, but I don't see how this could not be good. Good move over there by Jigsaw. Surprisingly not botting out over there and being able to get that kill. Keith holding his own on the lane over there. Good kill by Keith. And we're finally going to get these mines off so we can see what they could do. So let's see. The bow is going to probably just try and get them triggered. So hopefully he runs into one. He's going to put mines on Keith's lane. The bull is just going to be moving over towards Keith. Obviously as a mid, we're trying to help out. I think this is also going to boost uh, Bo's status of being a good mid right back up there because he was good for a little amount of time, but now it's more about Gene, Piper, and Poco, but I think this could definitely elevate uh, elevate Bo and get him back to where he was. Oh no, I, I wanted to see that so bad, but Keith was able to get the kill. No mines have been hit yet. Let's see if we put them in the middle, if we can get them to go off. Keith does have gems, so we don't have to have him stay alive. He's probably going to go down. Oh, he didn't go down. Okay. Okay, he did go down. But Jigsaw is able to pick up a gem. And I really want to bait them into this. Jigsaw's lagging. He's going to jump back last second. I really want to see somebody get hit by a mine. There he goes. So there he goes. He gets sti- Oh, that's that's too much time. That is way, way, way too much time. He, there was two whole seconds. He stood there. I was in a terrible spot. I was behind a wall. I was doing whatever. But you guys saw just how long... That brawler just stood there. That's if you're playing with a Piper, if you're playing with a Jean, if you're playing with a Tara, if you're playing with a Bull, a Rico, a Colt, any high DPS, even a bow, if you hit all three, you do like 2100. Any high DPS brawler, that's going to be a kill. If you think about it, only tanks where these are going to stay alive from a bow plus a high DPS shot, but even then, they're going to be super low and probably cleaned up after. So this is a really, really good star power based off what I'm seeing. Again, we only saw it once in action. We were in a really bad spot. It was a really bad point of the game. So let's see if we can get someone to walk into the mines and see if we can get the full effect. In this game, let's hop into it and let's see what happens. Okay, so here we go into our next match. And we're going to be facing a Piper, which is going to be a really tough test to see if we can out mid a Piper. Because in my opinion, she is definitely the best mid at the moment. Obviously, Gene has his pull, but Gene's star powers are really bad. The star power that Piper got is unreal, and she does, she has that escape where if you hit like three shots with her, which is really easy to hit nowadays, 
you just have that jump away escape, which at any time you can kind of just run away. So she's looking really good. We're going to be able to pick up the kill on her. And we're going to place some mines right over here. Hopefully nobody saw that since they were dead. Jig is going to be able to pick up a kill. And hopefully the Piper doesn't just walk into them and jump away. Because that would be that'd be pretty brutal. We're trying to see some gameplay over here. People running into the mines. Jig is going to do a great job. And Keith is just holding it down up there. He is doing his best to not let anyone get by. And we're going to steal the kill from him over there. Jig doing his best to get a kill. He's going to be able to do so on that Shelly. And again... They're just not walking up to the mines. Keith and Jake's are just owning them right now. We got them in really, really easily. And she she hit it, but unfortunately we killed her way too fast. So I guess we're just going to put it up here then. Try to do our best to see what happens. The Piper's going to avoid it and go to that side. We're almost going to be able to get that kill. Okay, so we got it. Okay, so it's, a, it's really easy. We were late to hit the Shelly. You guys saw she got stunned up there. We were really, really late to kill her or get to her, yet we were able to walk up Took like a took us like a second to walk up literally and then we got an easy three shots which i it's like two 720 something or something like that per shot so it's a little bit above 2100 damage plus the bow mine that's like 4500 just with bow your teammates are probably going to chip in so this is definitely a really really good star power so we're going to hop into the next game again hopefully we can get some more people hit by these bow mines let's hop into it and let's see what happens okay so here we go into the next game we're facing another piper a bull and a poco okay this one's gonna be a little bit interesting because they have two really strong brawlers in the current meta but they are both mids so it's gonna be tough let's see what happens over here jake's probably gonna win his lane over there just a quick double auto aim keith walking up on that bull hopefully we don't get too close to this bull over here we're able to pick up the kill okay we got to stay away from that poco though so we're gonna put this right over here. We're going to go down, but hopefully Keith is able to pick up some kills. Hopefully our mines can hit somebody. I'm not sure. Let's see. So they are up five to nothing right now. Um, our mines are being set off right now. Jig's going to go for a pull. He's going to miss it, of course. We're going to be able... Oh, we were almost able to pick up the kill. We weren't able to in the Piper. Oh, not the Piper. Sorry. The Poco is going to clean us up. Okay, so they have eight right now. We're going to have to try a little bit more to kill them instead of just getting some uh, some of these bow mines off. Jigsaw has a really simple pull over here. All he's got to do is hit it. We're able to get that Poco in the mine. And exactly like I said earlier, with Gene, really easy. Just he's standing still. Get that pull on him. And we're able to pick up the kill. So we're going to put these mines over here. It's currently 7-4 to four for us. So it's looking pretty good. I doubt that we're going to be able to get the Piper. Just due to the fact that she has her jump. Kind of an unnecessary pull over there by Jig. But it's fine. It looks like the Poco got stuck actually in our mines just there, but we weren't able to get close enough to get the shot off. So I guess now something you want to uh, look out for is making sure you're close to your mine. I'm pretty low. I do not know why Jig pulled that. We were able to hit with our mine the bull, but we weren't able to get the kill. Just because, again, it was far away from us. So Keith is one shot. He's going to go down. We're going to be able to kill the Piper over there. And the gems are all the way on that side. Jig's going to hit a really well-timed pull. And this, this bull, I mean, you guys can see we're just toying with him at this point. There is nothing that he could do once he is stuck in there. And that is super, super strong. It's actually unreal. The Poco as well just gets stuck in there. We're going to be able to clean that up super easily. And that was a really, really good game to show you guys just exactly how good that star power is. So that 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 was actually mind-blowing for me because I just realized how easy it was to change games just because they get hit by one mine, they get stuck, and then you can make a play from there. So we're going to do one more game. Hopefully we can get a good game in. And again, just like the last game, we can see the mines go off and we can see just exactly how effective they are. Let's hop into it and let's see what happens. Okay, so here we go into the fourth and final game. And we're facing a triple mid, triple strong mid strategy. Jigsaw has resorted to the Mortis because if we weren't carrying him enough already, he decided why not just go Mortis, try and be as useless as possible. Jigsaw is not a very good Mortis. So hopefully we can get the carries going. He's going to get a really easy free kill. Actually, he ran away for whatever knows why. He got stuck on a wall, but he was able to finish up that kill. The Piper is over here somewhere. One shot. He's going to be able to attack, or she's going to be able to tap uh, Jigsaw. And Jigsaw's just going to go and hide in a bush. So we're doing a pretty good job over here holding down the mid. He just shot a wall three times. But uh, we're doing a pretty solid job. We're going to put these mines right here in the middle. Hopefully someone runs into them. Jigsaw and Keith are able to get a combined kill. We're all just going to be spinning over here. A little bit of that BM. Last video we got instant karma with the BM. So hopefully it doesn't happen this time. But we're able to get that gene super low. Jig got his bad. So he's going to be able to get that kill over there. 
Oh, okay. I don't think that's going to do anything, though. Okay, 9 to nothing at this point. We're just running away with this one. The bow is going to put out his mines, but I don't think I'm going to get hit by them just because I know exactly where they are. Gonna just chill over here, try and get some shots off. We're gonna be able to pick this up. I'm just gonna put my mines up here so they they have a higher chance of getting hit because they are not coming anywhere near us. We're gonna be able to pick up a kill with one of them. So I'm actually really feeling Bo right now. He is super super strong. I feel like, especially in competitive where where like a Piper could be banned or a Gene could be banned, he is super super strong. So I know I said this is the last one, but we got a really quick 10-0. Wasn't really that good of a game. Um, lengthwise or to see the new star power. So we're going to hop into one more. We're going to get a fifth and final game. Hopefully we can go 5-0. and out. Let's hop into it and let's see what happens. Okay, so here we go into the fifth and final game. We're going to be going up against another Piper. That just goes about what I was talking about earlier where I said I think Piper is the best brawler. Well, I said in another video she's the best brawler in the meta and at least the best mid. And I hope you guys can see by this top level gameplay where everybody is playing Piper that you can agree with me. Um, I might make a Piper video on this map to be honest even when it's not out like just record extra just because I could probably shred with it here It's probably unreal. I could probably 1v3 a team to be honest I might try and make a video trying that but anyways, we're gonna focus on Bo over here So we're just gonna put the mines over there Again, that's just somewhere where they're gonna be lurking around their mids and you want to make sure you got all the spots where they're lurking um, just down pack. So Keith has this lane over here. Myself and Jigsaw have over here And if they come through the middle these mines are going to shut them down. So hopefully we can see that right here You guys can see the uh, the Piper was trying to go in the middle. She is gonna go in the mid She's gonna go down over there and we might have someone behind us. Okay. We have a Shelly behind us Interesting. So we're just gonna back off to this side over here Jigsaw is not holding his lane, but that is fine We're gonna be able to pick up that kill and again our mines gonna be able to hit that Piper She's gonna stay still and absolutely nothing she can do so that's pretty, that's pretty OP to be honest. We're going to get a couple taps over here. Jig's just spinning. Keith's going to be able to pick up a kill. And this is just, again, some more BM. That Shelly's going to try and be sneaky on us, but we're not going to fall for anything. We're going to keep her tapped, make sure she doesn't get anywhere near us. Just put these mines down. She's going to, well, she would have been hit by one, but the match is over. That's another 10-0. And to end off this video, I'm going to say that this is definitely a star power you should get. Tomorrow's video, I'm hoping, it's going to be a ton of work, and I don't usually do videos like this, so I'm going to call with my editor today. Hopefully, we can figure out how to do this and get this done properly, but we're going to be doing a tier list on every single star power. All 54 star powers in the game are going to make a tier list, and we're going to make it unreal. And we're, we're on it. We're going to, it's not just going to be my opinion. I'm going to get a bunch of top players' opinions. Um, a lot of my friends, and I know a lot of other YouTubers try and get like other top players' opinions, but it's not really um, that top. It could just be like well-known community players who have like 12k or 13k trophies at the time, and aren't very good. So I'm definitely going to be speaking to all like the competitive players, get their feeling of what they think the best star powers are. But yeah, anyways, we're going to be try we're going to try and make that video for tomorrow, if not the next day. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is definitely a super super strong star power. I might even put it in the top five. It does work on a lot of maps, um, I assume, such as Hard Rock. It would definitely work on Sandy Gems. But on a map like Snake Prairie, where it's just all grass everywhere, you're definitely going to want to utilize that other Bow Stark power, because it's also very, very strong. So anyways, that's going to be it for the video. Again, if you can stop by the Twitch, leave a follow, and just come around for a little, and just hang out, that would be super, super cool. But that's going to be it for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you do, and I'm going to hop, and you know, that's it. I'm going to be back tomorrow with another video. And yeah, peace out, guys.